Hey guys, it's Tony with Thinner Geek Designs. Today, I'm back with another graphic design video. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about how can you find design clients in 2018? Remember, design videos come out Monday, so get subscribed for that if you haven't already. One of the things that a lot of designers start off having is, how can I find clients? Well, I think 2018 is gonna be one of the easiest years. If not, 2017 was one of the easiest years to find design clients. There's so many clients actually looking for work or to hire people that it's easier and easier. You just need to be at the right place at the right time and know how to connect with your client. So let's start off going over some basics. Like how should you talk to your client? How should you communicate with your client? How should you start reaching out and getting your feelers out for clients? One, communing with a client, always be professional, but have personality at the same time. Don't be a stick and just be boring. Actually have some personality. Try to find something that you have common ground with and use that as a way to start talking with them. Um, you don't want to be brash and upfront and be like, hey, let's start working on this project now. That just sends off bad juju to everyone. So you want to be upfront. You want to say, hey, I want this project. But you want to be willing to give the client room to get actually some other quotes. Because honestly, I'll tell you, clients get quotes all of them do it's just how the world works how business works how companies work they want to make sure they're getting the right price for the right amount of work now you also want to know when to start putting out feelers this comes down to more how much work can you take as a designer and actually keep doing good quality work so let's talk about some methods to find clients in 2018 um, I think the one that most people are going to think about first off in this day and age is social media. And yes, social media is a huge component to this. I mean, if you don't have social media and you're not posting at least three times a day, what is wrong with you? So you need to post three times a day on social media. You need to start reaching out to clients that you want to work with and even possibly start doing some work from free. Now, you're not going to go ask them to do work free. This is what you're going to do. You're going to do, say... Say you know a company that you really want to work for, like Blizzard. Let's say you want to work for Blizzard Entertainment and you want to have them as a client. You could start redesigning their logo or designing package design for them and send it to them and say, Hey, I designed this. What do you think of it? And maybe they won't reach out to you. That's fine. The thing is, you don't do it just once. You don't do it just twice. You don't do it just three times or four times or five times. You do it as many times as you do till you get at least one yes. That's what it's going to take. I would also start including more cold DMs. So Instagram, Twitter, DM companies that you want to work with, bands, whatever your desired client is. Start cold DMing them. Start building a relationship. Maybe offer your services. Maybe offer your services for free if you're starting to get off and want to build your portfolio up. But let's throw a counterpoint to social media now. I think this year, this year with people pushing more social media, more email blasts, more, I would say, non-personal communication, I think the best way to find clients in 2018 is actually make that personal communication. Do more phone calls. Do more meetings. Do more lunches. Pay for the lunches. Do anything you can to get your foot in the door and start talking with the client. I would say what is also equally important as that is make sure you know who you're trying to reach out to when you're doing cold emails or DMs. So maybe do some research. Maybe go on LinkedIn, find Blizzard Entertainment and look up whoever is the marketing director or the creative director or whatever position they have that would be related to who you want to work for and who would actually be hiring you, communicating with you and helping you get paid. Reach out to them, start building relationships, start researching what, what school they went to, what in interests they have, just so you have a common foot ground to start talking with them about. I think another great tool a lot of designers aren't using and aren't going to be using in 2018 is network groups. Now, I'm not talking LinkedIn or Facebook groups. I'm talking your uh, local network group. So Charlotte has a bunch of them. Every major city has a bunch of them. The thing is that a lot of them only allow one person per one profession. So you have to kind of find one that has an opening for your position or your profession maybe. 
and start there. Start communicating, start building relationships, start feeling out your local market. Because the thing is, it's a lot easier to get local clients than it is clients on the internet. You have to remember, when you're on the internet, there's people that are willing to do stuff for a penny or two shiny dimes. When you might be charging an arm and a leg. So maybe try focusing more local than global. The last tip I'm going to give you guys is probably the one that I still give no matter what year it is, no matter what the climate is of business or marketing, is referrals. Now this may seem like beating a dead horse, but if you've got clients, they have friends, they have a network circle of their own. Maybe once a year or maybe every six months, whatever you feel more comfortable with, maybe poke some of your more... Uh, Baker clients, maybe the clients you're more comfortable with, say, hey, if you have any people that are looking for my services, just shoot them my way. And just give them a friendly reminder. Sometimes people get busy. Some people just forget to do it. But if you give them a friendly prog, you might get more work out this way. Honestly, referral business is the best business. I will say that to the day I die. Um, it's that you already have someone in with that client, and they already know what work you provided and what quality of work you're going to do. You're going to get such a good rap that way, as long as the project went well. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you learned a lot here. I hope you have learned how to find clients in 2018. If not, or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll get down there and help you guys out. Remember, design videos come out Monday, so get subscribed for that if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.